Hello. Thanks for having. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, I, I, I coach the quarterbacks for Coach Frost, um, and I thought what I would do with my time, as opposed to uh, giving you a rundown, maybe just questions. Anybody have a question out there? No, I'm done. See ya. <laughs> Let it rip. Um, mine is not to wonder why, mine is but to do or die. But I, I, I will tell you that, that finally Coach Austin has a, a group of young guys, albeit young, that look like uh, a Big Ten offensive line. Um, and Greg does a, a tremendous job coaching those guys up. Um, and all those young guys have uh, – bought into the culture, so to speak, but they were already those kind of players in the, in the first place, you know? Um, and then with regards to the running back position, uh, Coach Hal has a, a, a group of young cats that are pretty dynamic, you know, and suffered through some nicks and bruises through spring ball. But if you were ever to have the chance to see those young cats work out in the weight room and, and run around, it, it's pretty impressive. So I... I believe, as Coach Frost does, uh, that we'll be vastly improved in those two areas, running back and offensive line. So I'm fired up about that. Yeah. Coach, how comfortable are you right now with the depth in your quarterback room? How comfortable are we with our depth in the quarterback room? I'm, I'm, I'm really comfortable with it. You know, uh, Adrian's coming back, and obviously uh, Logan Smothers and Harburg and Matt Masker. Um, are there a young guy, uh, Jared Sinek, who played at Hastings, had a dynamic career, um, will be another additional walk-on, and then a young guy from Louisiana, right, Chins? Alabama? Alabama. A young guy by the name of Spencer Arnaud will also be an additional walk-on. But overall, um, I feel really comfortable about where we are. You know, I think Coach Frost made that clear when we weren't going to delve into the transfer portal. So, yeah. Nobody else? Yeah. How do you hear Martinez and all of his turnovers? Say, say that again? How do you hear all the, all the turnovers? That yeah, you know, uh, that, um, you, you know, uh, with regards to age and particularly with regards to the, the fumble situation, you know, it's not, for a lack of effort, you know, uh, sometimes the discretion is a better part of valor and all that business. And he just wants to do so much, too much of the time. And um, I, I, he's at the point now where he understands that um, if you say you love your teammates, right, you say you care about your teammates, um, take care of the damn football. You know, because I, I, I do know one thing. Coach Chins does, a, as much as he loves Adrian, he, he doesn't want to see interceptions. Mike Dawson doesn't want to see interceptions and fumbles. And that's it. he wasn't plagued really with interceptions. It was the fumble thing. The guys on defense, Tony Teode, he doesn't want to see turnovers. Barrett Root. And as much as the def, uh, defensive players love Adrian and enjoy Adrian, you know, I'm sure they want to wring his freaking neck. You know, when the ball gets turned over, if it happens to be his fault. Um, to cure him, you know, I think part of it is just that psychological component of it, really. And then you start making too much out of it, and it gets even worse. But for him, it was just you don't have to do everything all the time. Trust Chins and the guys on defense, you know, to get us the ball back. So did I answer your question? Good. Yeah. Good. Anybody else? Are there any particular characteristics that you look for in a quarterback recruit? Uh, the, probably the two primary that will at least get us started on a young guy is his athleticism, right? And to try to figure out if he's a quick blinker, right? Uh, sometimes you're not going to figure that out until he actually gets on campus, but when you talk to the young guy and talk to his coaches, you can get a, you can get a sense of that. Right? Um, 
So if if that happens, then we're going to go to the next step. Then we got to find out what the young guy's work ethic is like. Is he a good person? Um, he's, is he a young guy that is is going to be aligned with our culture and how we do things? Right. That becomes um, critical. If in fact uh, there's no red flags with regards to all of those sorts of things, then uh, we'll go we'll go ahead and make an offer to a young guy. Um, but the athleticism part of it is uh, is interesting because you know some guys are uh, some quarterbacks in high school are pigeonholed as being uh, pro style quarterbacks or they're dual threat young guys. But when we go through the list, we don't look at the tags. You know, um, if he's a quote unquote pro style guy, but he's athletic and got a gun, he can run and those sort of things. Doesn't doesn't matter what his label is. And I know that can be misleading leading to, to you when you figure out who we're recruiting, but you just have to understand we don't we don't look at the labels where a young guy's pigeonholed. Answer question? Yeah. Good. Well, that'll uh, I guess be it for me, which is awesome. <laughs> Thanks for having us, appreciate it.